It's been really positive. Um, we've uh, had numerous products from uh, things like Mosaic, uh, which was previously owned by a, a different company. So we've been right at the grassroots of Access Group taking over a lot of those products that we use. Um, really, really good contact with account management and those sorts of things. The other benefit of having the systems is that um, the developers of those systems have, very got, have got very good relationships with um, central government agencies. So my experience has been that in terms of any kind of new legislation or statutory duties mm -hmm. that children's or adult care have to fulfil, that uh, Access Group colleagues get an early heads up of those and they build the functionality within the products to enable the local authorities to be able to meet those new duties. So that's been a very positive experience over the years in terms of that relationship between ourselves, the supplier, Access Group and central government. So what Access Group have allowed us to do is with their products, they brought them all together for us. So there's a suite of applications that support the breadth of children's services and um, within children's services we've got quite a diverse area of responsibilities in terms of early years provision, school admissions, uh, supporting children and young people and ensuring that they don't become uh, neat, uh, youth offending services as well as safeguarding and early help. So there's a broad range of services and what the, the suite of products that Access Group have got to support children and young people's services brings those all together. Now, whilst they are three separate systems, um, there are plans in place to be able to bring all those systems together to share information between them, which enables practitioners that might be working in quite a specialised niche area to see information from the other systems that's supportive in terms of the decisions that they're making with those children and young people. Really, really important. Uh, we couldn't function without it. Um, we class that as our one point of truth. So uh, we use that across most of adult social care and the services that we provide, as well as uh, finance, which I think we used the finance element of that, didn't we, for uh, right from the outset. Yeah, you could argue that it's probably the most important system that we've got at the local authority yeah. uh, in terms of protecting our most vulnerable clients and children across across the county. It's important that it's reliable, um, accessible 24-7 and, um, and its performance is good as well. So yeah, it's uh, business critical as they say. So we've had Synergy for a number of years now and it's certainly been an enabler for us to move towards delivering services in a more digital way. More recently, we've, um, we've adopted new functionality that enables parents and carers to apply for free school meals online, uh, also for them to apply for their early years childcare online as well. Um, and what the products allowed us to do is make that um, a single portal for parents and carers to do all those three things. Uh, using the same portal and their same credentials to be able to log on and make those applications. So it's moved us forward in terms of digitising the way that people apply for services, but it's also moved us on in terms of our interaction with our uh, providers across Derbyshire, particularly in the uh, early years sector. Telling that story once is, is really important for um, the citizens of Derbyshire. Also, knowing that they can come to us and that the data is secure um, is a really important uh, aspect to any of us these days in terms of uh, data security. And we certainly feel that way with, with the systems that we've got from the Access Group. We want to be able to make data-driven decisions having your um, information and data in one place and being able to report on that easily is uh, really critical to senior management to look at, at the strategy moving forward and how we can shape our services. By pulling all that data together, whether there is um, 
any potential issues for the future uh, in terms of resourcing and those sorts of things. So it gives us a lot more uh, depth of information by looking at not just in-house services, but external too. Well, certainly for adults, if we didn't have um, any of the solutions that we've got, um, so that would be Mosaic and NCM for, for adult care, uh, we would have to re revert back to paper-based systems. Um, now, from a business continuity perspective, you have to have those sorts of systems in place uh, and processes in place, but they are very much your last resort type of things and you would probably only be reverting to those for an hour or a, a day at, at the most. If we had to do that on a permanent basis, it would be data in spreadsheets, uh, in paper books, uh, and you can't have an audit trail for that at all. Um, so it would be just devastating if we if we didn't have a solution like Mosaic and CM. Yeah, certainly in children's services, um, it's supporting the delivery of shorter term strategies, for example, fostering modernisation programmes. So we're looking at the, the workflow and the forms that we're using within the system to recruit and retain uh, foster carers going forward. Um, and we're also using the system to be able to support a piece of work to reduce the burden on frontline workers in terms of how much time they're having to spend recording information and data on the systems. Of course, this is critically important, but um, spending less time having to do it um, means that workers can spend more time with the vulnerable children and families that they're working with. So we've been reviewing the workflow and forms over the last couple of years now to try and reduce the time and the, the bureaucracy around uh, recording of information for frontline workers. And because Mosaic in particular, but also the other products are very customizable, we can bespoke forms and workflows to meet the way that we need to record information at Derbyshire. So that's the shorter term stuff. The longer term strategies will be about joining systems together um, getting a single version of the truth, not having to ask people as they pass through the different systems and have that journey in children's services, the same information multiple times. And also the work that we're doing with partner organisations like the police and health and schools uh, to jointly um, um, protect children and work together um, with the children and families that we all work with going forward. So. That's very much at the forefront of uh, the work that we're planning to do in the next few years.